guys, can you believe it? Five seasons in the box. Wow. Yes, this I... is it. This is our final episode today. We had an amazing run. It was, it's been super fun. Uh, a lot of crazy things. So, Manny, well, what can you say? How was everything for you? Memorable. Uh, yeah. It's a memorable, memorable season. We had so much cars to test, so much spaces to go to. Especially you, Angel. That's right. You traveled a lot. I did travel a lot, and I can't believe that we have 38 segments in Thailand. Wow. With the 39th underrated. This is the 39th. We were moving so fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems only yesterday we were taping here for the opening billboard. Exactly. And now it's just like. Yeah, yeah, and we have we have a lot of people to thank, of course, uh, for for the season that's gonna be in the books. Having any any Matt, uh, of course, number one, our our home here in the Jani. Thank you very much oh, for I always hosting us here, Matt. Yes. Of yeah, course, yeah, at yeah. the West Gate in uh, Fit Invest uh, Fit Invest City, Alabama. So, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you to our apparel sponsor, Uniqlo. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you thank you so me. much. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, you know, capping off the uh, the fifth season and everything else. So. You guys did a lot of traveling, mm -hmm. and Cap and I are very jealous. But you did travel. <laughs> Some travel. So I have a question for you guys: if, if we could take back an episode and steal an episode from each of us, what episode would that be? Oh, it's a good question. That's a good question. Come on, Amani. Okay. Well, I was actually salivating when he got to drive the Rolls Royce <laughs> in Japan. Recently, I discovered the perfectly luxurious way to get from one beautiful spot to another. You know what they say about the journey being the destination? Well, ladies and gentlemen, meet the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Superlatives are no exaggeration for the Phantom, which is basically a premium hotel suite on wheels. I've actually driven a Rolls-Royce in England. But oh, wow. 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 I'd, I'd celebrate for that. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we were not yet on the air then. Uh, but Japan is, for me, the mix of almost a royalty level car and and that very nice place is but in japan bad. they have roads to drive oh yeah yeah actually uh the roads that we got to drive on were a little um, constricted though right. and of course you know, the phantom that i drove was the long wheelbase version pa. so it was yeah. like you know, i was so scared it was, and it was also on, it was a left hand <laughs> drive side, also sorry. it was a left hand drive but i had to drive on the on the left side, side. The, yeah, yeah opposite side so yeah. That was kind of scary, scary, yeah, right. scary na parang bucket list at the same time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was that was exciting. What about you? What, what, ah, you, you switch. Yeah, I, I was very jealous of uh, Manny's uh, Montpellier experience Ooh. with the Cayenne. The wine country. Yeah. The roads we took were a delightful combination of highways, winding mountain roads, and charming cobblestone streets that pass through villages that look like they haven't changed in centuries. And the Cayenne e-hybrid delivered. Smooth and supple on cobblestone roads, confident and flat-footed on winding roads, and flat out fast and exhilarating at high speeds. I don't know which interested me more, the fact that he was driving a very nice Porsche Cayenne, or the fact that he was in wine country in France. So, parang, wow, a sensory overload. Yeah. 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 I would have wanted to do that. It's funny you said that because that's also my Ingrid segment. The one of Manny when he drove the Cayenne in France because you have a great car and then you have great food and they travel element pa, Europe, parang city of romance or the whole country of romance, diba? Yeah, true. So, I think that's like totally. Yeah. I couldn't complain. <laughs> How about the editor Andy? Yeah. <laughs> How about yeah. you? Me? Okay. I'd say that one too. That would be very nice. But <laughs> I'd also like to say I drove a, a, a manual transmission H stick the other day for one of our last few episodes with the bike car. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let me say why. Was I, that memorable for you as well? Let me say why it's okay. memorable because it had it's been a long time since I've ever sat in a car with a with a manual transmission. One thing I'm I'm very very happy about it. It's an H stick H transmission by the way, and it's been a long time that uh, I actually haven't driven an H transmission, a manual transmission, kumbaga, in that sense. No? 
Oh, so yeah, I enjoy true. the manual transmission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simple uh, pleasures. Huh? Yeah, you, know, simple you, pleasures. Don't, you don't get manual transmissions nowadays. You know, we, we went to the Cooper, it was all push button. Na. We go to yeah. every car, even the Vios today, diba? it's all, everything's automatic. Umbaga. If you say manual, it can be the Tronic or you know, paddle shift, mm -hmm. but there's no more the H-stick transmission. Maybe we should have a feature soon. About manual transmission cars. Oh, and still going back. Yeah. This would be like one of our goal segments yeah. for next season. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, yes, yes, that's that's something we should also ask. I'm sure you want to ask that as well. No, what is your like dream segment moving forward? Because we we are hoping we're gonna have a season six, of course. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, dream segment. I guess to, to feature supercars. Can we do that? Like maybe a yeah. McLaren, parang Oh yes. Something mm. like that. Or maybe a Tesla. You know, we did we did electric yes. bikes uh, yeah. this season. Yeah, why don't we do like yeah, why don't we we did the e Jeep knees, why don't we do like a Tesla? There's a few in the Philippines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we do that? And by the way, I, I, I went to Japan a few months ago. I passed by the the Nissan showroom. Oh yeah. And they had a concept car there that they said five to ten years, maybe ten years, fifteen years it was gonna come out. And they said this car is self driving. You can press it on, on your phone yes. and it's gonna pick you up. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, no. I think that's a great idea to do like the whole um, concept concept car, like electric, go to all the self-driving cars. But if it's more closer to today, yeah. then I would love to do like a travel segment in say Mindanao because it's like not very often that we feature and shoot segments all the way in the south. So I want to do a drive there and then we're going to go to Davao and then go to all the Kalatik the provinces, go to the virgin beaches there and just do a drive. Maybe nice, a bit nice. of off-road, diba? Right? Next question guys for everybody. What's What was the most challenging segment um, any of us did no, for the season 5? Kani, you go I think first. mine would be having to pretend that I was experiencing road rage. I had to portray someone who was really losing his temper mm -hmm. behind the wheel. director. Oh. oh yes, we have a very good director. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I think my uh, the most challenging couple of segments that I did were the ones that I uh, did in Japan for Rolls Royce. The land of the rising sun is a vibrant example of what could be. A cauldron brewing with both long-held tradition and the infinite promises of tomorrow. I joined members of the Japanese press for a Wheels exclusive. The first ever SUV from the ultra-luxury car maker had been sort of a unicorn to me since its recent global reveal. A mythical beast of utmost refinement, but still largely stuff of legend. I just did those couple of segments, two segments, yon, but I did that over the course of almost just a day and a half and then the wa the weather wasn't cooperating at all uh, it was raining the whole time so talagang sukob koche tabas ulan sukob ulit so but it was yeah i couldn't complain because number one i was in a rolls royce most of the time and then yeah it was japan so the experience was very very surreal at times. That's a tough job. Yeah. Tough job. Someone has to do it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> talaga eh. What about you, Angel? <laughs> for me, it had to be the first segment that I did for the season, which is the one with Ilak Diaz, where he brought his green combi. Because so we, first of all, we had to drive far. We had to go all the way to Wawat Dam. And then when we got there, we had to do some hiking pa. Because we were going all the way to the small village where there were farmers wherein we were going to do a turnover of these solar naps. Diyan tayo akyat! No way! And you can see over here, you know, as we go towards there, less and less the electricity reaches. So as soon as we cross the bridge over there, there's no more power. Combi. So it was really nice because parang may giving back na nature, but then also it wasn't easy to get to right. the drive right. and then the hiking element pa. And it was raining. So oh, parang raining then, yeah. putik, and then you had the whole crew trailing after us and then with the payong trying to make sure that the equipment doesn't get wet. But we did it. So for the show. For, for the, the show. show. Yeah. For the show. Uh, All four wheels. Yeah. 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 This is a difficult one. 
Um, we drove all the way from Alabang to the fort. Uh, met up with the hosts, and uh, we went to the showroom. Uh, and uh, got into the vehicle, and we drove a Ferrari. So it's pretty yeah. terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I remember that. I, 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 I can't believe yeah. that. So far, you <laughs> drove so far. <laughs> Sorry, man. In a Ferrari. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I guess this one the most challenging episode for me yeah. driving the blue show. Yeah. You know? <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're in the beautiful Ferrari right now with, of the course, GTC Mr. GTC for Luso. Yes, yes, yes. We have uh, Natalia here with me, my right, and of course, Mr. Soriano in the back with Cappy. <laughs> Let me take back my answer. The, the most challenging part was sitting at the back while uh, uh, Matt got to drive the Ferrari. Challenge. I was I'm almost pissed his pants there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't driven in a long time, uh, so excuse me. <laughs> oh yep, this is a Ferrari, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Mateo driving. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Mahato too. Eh? Well, well, it's, well, it was a Ferrari, so. Yeah. Five seasons went by so quick. Yeah. Um, it was yeah. amazing. And, uh, you know, from, from TV to digital, back to TV. and. Let's see what's gonna happen in the future. Now. Yeah, we're excited yeah. for what the future will bring. Yes, sir. Wonderful ride, actually. Season season five was a blur. At the very start, I was thinking, how can we pull this off? But yeah, we were able to pull it off, and uh, we had so many um, segments. We had so many experiences. A lot of trips abroad that we also got to take footage of. So that was that was great. And of course, like Manny said, lots of nice cars. So we're hoping to bring that forward and then take it to the next level. Yeah. 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 That's right. And of course, vehicles will always be a part of our lives. There is no going around that. So we hope that all our viewers enjoy watching our show as much as we enjoy producing these segments. Yeah. So we'll, I guess we'll see you next season. Yeah. And before that, before we eat, and we're gonna order more, I'd ah, um, like to say thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, Philippine Star. And of course, Signal, thank you very much for having us. Yup, if you guys wanna watch more of our episodes, just log on to www.philstartv.com or log on to our social media accounts right here down below on your screens. Let us know what you wanna see for next season, season six. Guys, this is the season five wrap up. My name is Mateo Riccelli. I'm Manny De Los Reyes. I'm Angel Rivero. And I'm Cap Maceda Aguila. This has been the Philippine Stars. Wheels. Wheels, your premier motoring authority.